to show you guys how to put gel over your jams. This is totally not required, so don't think that it is. Um, it's just awesome, and it basically adds an extra layer of durability. Um, also, say you have um, a couple nails or one or two nails that lift. Um, it happens to some of us. Um, for me, I get it on um, my middle finger on my left hand and my pointer finger on my right hand. I know, totally random, but it'll start lifting after a few days. Um, mainly because I have like oily skin and so like I scratch my skin and the oils get into there. So I just occasionally have problems. It's not every time, it's just sometimes. So maybe you have an issue like that or you just want some extra durability on your jams. This is a great option for you. So, so what do I need to put gel over my jams? Not very much. You need our base coat and top coat of the gel. You need the LED curing lamp. You need some rubbing alcohol and an orange stick or a cuticle pusher and some cotton swabs. That's it. Okay, so let's get into how you do this. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to make it look good. And I'm going to do a nail to show you. Okay, ladies, step one. What you want to do is you want to clean your nails with alcohol. So I'm just going to do one nail. And just clean it off. You want to have you want to have a nice clean surface there to apply the gel. So I'm just gonna blow it off, make sure it's nice and dry. Okay. The next thing you need to do is you actually have to shake these for um, a minute because there's lots of layer in the gel, and so you have to shake, 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 shake. So I'm just gonna sit here and shake for the next minute. Okay, girls, we're all ready to put gel over our jams. So we've cleaned our nails, we've shaken our bottles, and we're all ready. So you want to start with your base coat. You want to apply a super, super, super thin layer. So wipe off as much of the extra gel that you can. What you want to do is you want to start in the middle and sweep out. And then you want to sweep to the side and sweep to the other side. And that is exactly how you would apply polish and gel as well. And then you want to cap the tip. And this is super, super important. Let's see if I can get it focused here. Maybe not. Okay, there we go. So you just want to sweep along this tip. And that just seals the gel in there. Um, now you might want to just sweep along here really quickly. Get anything extra off. Make sure you don't have any little bumps so you're good. So it's just that was super quick and easy. Put your lid back on. Turn your light on. And that will automatically go for 45 seconds and shut itself off. So once it's off, then you're done and you're good to go. And what comes next is our top coat. So remember, we've already shaken this. You have to shake it for about a minute because there are multiple layers of gel in there and you have to combine all of the layers. So you can shake the top coat as you're sitting and waiting for your base coat to dry or you can just shake them both at the very So as soon as this is done, I will take it out and apply our fabulous top coat. And this doesn't take too long. You can do all of these four nails at once and then cure them and then do these four nails and then your thumbs together. So now we've got our top coat here. And it's that you just make sure that you're getting off every last, well not every last bit, but get off a lot. 
of this stuff here. Okay, so I'm already just going to quickly apply it over to my base coat, which is cured. Okay, and then again, remember, have your tip. Okay, and then I just have to brush off the end a little bit, just make sure it's nice and flat and smooth. Now, you want to make sure that you don't have any gel on your fingers. So if you do, what you want to do is take your orange stick, cuticle pusher, whatever it is, and then just run it underneath your finger here, because you might have some under your finger. Okay. So now you cure. Okay, so we're almost done. Our final step is just to clean up with alcohol. So you just have alcohol on your little swab here. What you want to do is just wipe. Um, if you touch it with your finger, you're going to notice it's a little tacky. That's fine. Um, that's just how it is. That's how gel works. It leaves a tacky residue. And so you just clean up with alcohol. And if you have a poor percentage of alcohol here, like mine, which is a 50, um, go wash your hands with just some good soap. Just wash it. That'll get off all the extra sticky that might be on there. So you are done and your nails look fabulous. So I applied it to the middle nail here. So I've got gel on my middle nail. You can see I also have red gel underneath that wrap. Um, that's just because I didn't originally plan on putting that accent nail on. Um, you don't have to have gel underneath the wrap to apply the gel on top of the wrap. Um, you can, like when I, I have this lace wrap here, so I could also put gel over the top of this. Um, so I did gel on the bottom and then I did a wrap. Um, and then I could conceivably also do gel on top if I wanted to, um, but I don't really care. So that is how it works. It's still a little bit sticky, so I'm going to have to go wash my hands. It's just fine. It's done. It's cured. And now you're going to have nails that last two weeks or more even um, because this gel adds extra protection from, I mean, the wraps are already awesome, but it's going to make it even more awesome. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'm here to help. Thanks for jamming with me.